Audio description for room 4. Room 4 is one of three rooms dedicated to the life and collections of Richard Glyn Vivian. Here we find photographs of him as a young man and of members of his family. On display are items of his silver and ceramic collections and also albums of his travels. The oil paintings that we're going to describe here date from the 1800s. They hang close, both offering us views of Swansea from the 1800s. Hafford Copper Works River Tawy, Swansea by James Harris Senior is a large landscape painting measuring almost a metre high and a metre and a half across. It dates from about 1850 and hangs in a plain gilt frame. We are struck by the expanse of sky, stretching above the rolling hills and calm waters of the river. The wide river Tawi meanders through the lower section of the painting, from the bottom left corner towards the right, and then it curves away to the left as it reaches the horizon. The sky, which occupies about two-thirds of the canvas, is suffused with a dusky glow, the sun appearing to be in the distance, beyond a hill to the left. The copper works of the title are in the very far distance on a bank to the right of the river. Just a few tiny chimneys can be spotted on the horizon, with smoke drifting upwards. Above these chimneys the sky is very pale with white soft clouds becoming a little bluer and darker beyond the hill to the right. Nestled into the hill on the right is a small village or town. The houses are painted in detail with their windows and rooftops, some in white, some pinky brown. A larger building stands higher up the hill. Dotted in amongst the buildings are tiny people, some in red clothing. As we travel down the hill, past the buildings, we come to a jetty to the right at the water's edge and then closer to us, the river bank, painted in creams and whites with a little seaweed green. Other small figures are found here, including a woman walking away from us in a red shawl, balancing a basket on her head, a sailor in a red cap, a man in a top hat, and another in a red jumper. One man is holding onto a rope attached to a large barge which sits low in the river. A sailor stands in the barge to operate the rudder at the back. If our gaze follows the calm water which reflects the greys and blues of the sky, then we come to ships with tall sails, their upright masts painted in detail. They are moored to the left and right. The sails and pennants, some pink, some cream, billow gently in the breeze. Between the moored boats is a small boat with three or four men on board, one of whom is standing with an oar or paddle in hand to propel the craft. The overall impression of the painting is calm and peaceful, capturing a romantic, perhaps even idyllic atmosphere. The label information reads, James Harris Senior, 1810 to 1887, Hafford Copper Works, River Towie, about 1850. Oil on canvas. The second oil painting is Swansea, 1840, by A. F. Rolfe. Another peaceful, wide landscape painting. This measures 88 and a half centimetres high and is 123 centimetres wide. It hangs in a gilt frame. The sea fills the top left corner and stretches across towards the top right. 
It glints and glimmers, the blue of the calm water reflecting the blue of the sunlit sky. Dozens of sailing ships are found on the water and also moored by the water's edge. The curve of the bay sweeps round to the right away from us. In the distance to the right are gently rolling hills. Most of the painting shows the land, flat green fields and wooded copses, with occasional farmhouses and cottages. Closest to us, we seem to be in a parkland or woodland full of bushes and trees on the near side of a stone wall. A woman and her daughter walk down a path towards us into the sunlight. She carries a red ewer on her head and the little girl carries a basket. A black and white dog runs along beside them. To the left, against the wall, is a small table or stall. The label information reads Swansea, 1840, Alexander Frederick Rolf, 1815-1907, Oil on Canvas.